Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. So today's video is an extension of a recent video that I made. Uh, that video was a requested video. Uh, they asked me if I had to start all over again and I had a 200 euro budget to spend on a completely new perfume collection, what would I choose? I can link that video down in the description box if you guys want to check that out. But as an extension to that, it's also been requested that I talk about uh, niche perfumes. So if I had 1000 euros to spend on a new niche perfume collection, which perfumes would I choose? So, um, where I got these prices from, um, I got them online where you can get them currently uh, where I live in the Netherlands. Uh, they're from retailers and some discount web shops, mostly from discount web shops though, but there are also some perfumes that seem to be never on sale, only available on official websites and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I've chosen uh, the perfect in my opinion, niche perfume collection within this 1000 euro budget. So let's begin here. The first one here is one that I discovered, um, I think a few years ago. Uh, I fell in love with it pretty quickly, you guys. And um, it's from Liquide Imaginaires. It's actually one of my most favorite niche perfume houses and it's called Blanche Bette. And so I absolutely love the bottle design here. This scent is so special to me. It's delicious. It's gourmand, sweet, milky, creamy, coconut. There's also tuberose, I believe, in here. And there's also like this musky kind of um, smoky tuberose, delicious, creamy vanilla. It's just so mesmerizing it's absolutely beautiful uh, the retail price on this one though is 250 euros <laughs> but i have seen this online for around 120 as a tester bottle um, i bought mine as a tester bottle here so it only came like this without the cap but i do own another liquid imaginaire scent which is also one of my fa favorites but it didn't make this list um, so i took the cap from that and put it on here um, this bottle here is very interesting it kind of reminds me of like uh some kind of gothic chalice kind of thing. Is that the right word? <laughs> Something you drink out of. It has like this kind of medieval, uh, some kind of vibe with these scents. Um, there's the logo back there. And yeah, you can find this sometimes online with just for their tester bottles for around 120, which is a really great price. It's like less than um, retail, like less than half even, which is great. And so I would definitely try to find a deal on Blanche Bet. Oh my gosh, it is so, so nice. <laughs> Wow, it's an amazing scent and yeah, I can't imagine not having this in my perfume collection. So 120 euros, 100 ml uh, tester bottle Blanche Bet. By the way, I've also seen other fragrances from the, uh, the house for around the same price, some even cheaper than 120 for their tester bottle. So that's really uh, a great deal, I think, if you don't mind not having the cap at least. All right, so next up we have something that probably won't be a surprise to you if you've been watching me for a long time. This is my number one favorite vanilla scent of all time. Unfortunately, these ones don't really go on sale, so I had to use the retail price of this, um, of this perfume. Uh, I have an older bottle here. This is Spiritus du Bleveni from Guerlain from their art and materials line, uh, L'Art de la Matier, something like that. <laughs> uh, so this is 75 mils. Uh, they stopped producing this design bottle. Uh, they have new bottle designs and they come in 100 mils now. 
um, $325, which is such a high price for a perfume. <laughs> but if it's like my number one favorite uh, vanilla scent, um, I think it's worth it. Um, I also have a backup of this style bottle as well, which is uh, really good, great to know for me that I won't be running out of this one anytime soon. <sighs> this is a sweet, sexy, smoky, boozy vanilla scent. Vanilla is probably my number one favorite note of all time, and I've smelled so many vanilla perfumes. This is the best one. It makes me feel the best too, and I think it's also the priciest, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, this definitely had to be in my, my 1,000 euro budget. I would use 325 euros of it uh, because I, I just love it so much. And so, yeah, 325, 100 mils, Spiritus Double Vini from their official website because I don't, I haven't seen the scent on sale anywhere, unfortunately. Okay, so the next one here also probably won't be a surprise to you if you've been watching me for a while. This is my absolute favorite number one niche perfume of all time. It's Amouage, Amouage Sunshine. Um, I do feature this perfume a lot on my channel. I've been talking about this one for a long, long time. Um, I love it now even more than when I first tried it. I just love this one so much. And so this one is a 100 ml bottle. I have seen this online for 200 euros. So the regular retail, um, I forgot to write it down, but I think it's maybe 300 or even above that. <laughs> uh, but for 200 euros, 100 ml, with it being my most favorite niche scent of all time, it had to be in this list. It's a delicious, fruity, gourmand scent to me. It smells like apricots and spices and dessert. It's very sweet and spicy. It has like a nice, heavier, earthy base to it as well. I just can't get enough of this perfume and um so this was 100 mil 200 euros but yeah this is a fantastic beautiful sweet juicy ripe apricots osmanthus desserty gourmand scent oh, just love it <laughs> okay so that's amouage sunshine Next up, we have a scent that is more appropriate, I think, for cooler weather. And this one here, I have a small little 30 mil of. Uh, it's Tom Ford Tobacco Vini. I discovered this one very, very early. I was in Las Vegas for a pool tournament that I was in. I walked into the Tom Ford boutique. I think it was at the Crystals Mall. Is that what it's called even? I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. Uh, tried this scent. I wore it in the Las Vegas heat, completely sweating. And this one just kept on projecting and projecting. And I just could not stop sniffing this when I was wearing it, especially in the heat. <laughs> and I just fell in love with this scent, you guys. Back then, I wasn't really like heavy into this hobby yet, although I've always loved perfumes this one just really stuck in my mind it really reminds me of that trip um, and it was a really great fun time <laughs> we didn't win anything at the tournament but I had a lot of fun um, participating in that uh, but anyways um, this one I chose a 10 mil um, per uh, sorry 10 mil version the travel size of tobacco vanille and i've seen that for 45 euros online and that's where well there's this one uh, big perfumery and one of the main perfumeries in the netherlands they often do 25 percent off sales so 25 percent uh, off from the retail price would be 45 euros for 10 mils luckily this is a very strong and potent scent so 
when I wear this, I would do like only one or two sprays. Um, it is my favorite tobacco scent of all time. It is tobacco, spices, vanilla, I think patchouli. I can't remember the notes. It also has like this dark chocolate kind of thing running through, which is earthy and really delicious. Definitely unisex and uh, one of my favorite Tom Fords. I do own a 10 mil travel size of it, uh, but I left it in Canada because I like to wear that there as well when I go to visit. But yeah, this is a fantastic scent, especially in um, the winter time. Um, although I guess you can wear it in the summer. That's when I first wore this one in the summertime and it was so, so, so hot, but I really, really enjoyed this one very much. Okay, so next up we have one that I have several, several backups of, uh, of. I also have gone through several bottles of this. This is my favorite orange scent and probably my favorite citrus scent of all time. Uh, this is from Atelier Cologne and it's Orange Sanguine. So this one is getting harder and harder to find nowadays. Uh, it looks like that they're changing up what they're doing. I know that they're still um, available in Asia. And now I'm seeing this on discount web shops, not retail shops anymore. I mean like in stores, but I have seen this floating around on discount web shops. Uh, this is a 100 ml bottle and online currently on a discount web shop you can find it for 110 euros so i think that's a great deal i just love how realistic this smells the realistic orange orange juice tangy sweet bright refreshing cooling easy to wear it smells delicious and i can't get enough of the orange sanguine so sad that they're kind of like phasing them out it feels like but maybe they'll come back i have no idea what their plans are i haven't heard anything but um yeah i just love this as like the perfect summer scent but you can wear it year round the perfect citrus scent it's like everything that i want in an orange perfume or a citrus scent is in this fragrance so 100 mil, 110 euros for this uh, orange sanguine. And lastly, this is probably the most hyped or one of the most hyped, I would say top three most hyped perfumes in the, in the perfume community right now. <laughs> um, I have loved this since this came out some years ago. I still love it now, even though I don't really talk about it as much as I used to, um, but I still really, really love it. So this is Maison Francis Kirkshan Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the 70 ml bottle. I think it was at 75. Uh, looks like this is a 70 mils, but um, I don't have enough in my budget, <laughs> uh, my thousand euro budget to get this size. So for a 35 mil, um, 500, uh, 540, it would cost 155 euros. I couldn't find this anywhere on sale. I don't think I've ever seen it on sale. Mm, I don't think. Well, I have seen the travel sizes on sale, I believe, but uh, the 35 mil bottle, 155 euros. I guess people are really sick of this one. <laughs> um, I hear about it all the time still, but I still really, really enjoy this uh, very much. It's my favorite from the house. It's a sweet, juicy, citrus, amber scent it's very sparkling and bright it performs really well uh, it has a beautiful sillage and scent of bubble and there are so so many dupes of this one my favorite is probably the sol de janeiro um, 68 
um, from Sol de Janeiro, <laughs> the Churosa 68, I believe it is, in the uh, pink bottle. Actually, do I have it here? Mm, I thought I had it here, but I don't. Uh, actually, wait one second. I do have it here. <laughs> uh, this one here. This is 68 Churosa Bra Brazilian jasmine and pink uh, dragon fruit um it's not exactly like this but it has the same kind of vibe this is just a perfume mist um doesn't last very long but it smells really really nice um inexpensive especially when it's on sale for 25 percent off i think it's a great alternative um and i really really enjoy wearing this one there's quite a big dent in that one very easy to wear uh but yeah i just couldn't imagine not including Baccarat Rouge 540 into this list um, will always be in my collection still one of my favorites worth the hype yes 100% definitely and for 35 mils 155 euros so the total for all of these I'll just go through them quickly once again uh, Tester bottle of Blanche Bet, 120 euros. A 100 ml bottle on the official website of Spiritus du Blavigny, 325 euros. It takes a lot of the budget. Amouage Sunshine tester bottle on a discount web shop, around 20, uh, sorry, 20, 200 euros. A 10 ml travel size of Tobacco Vigny, uh, when they have their 25% off sales, uh, 45 euros. Luckily, it's a nice potent scent that lasts a long time. Orange Sanguine on a discount web shop, 100 mils, 110 euros. And finally, Baccarat Rouge 540, the 35 mil version, 155 euros. So the total for all of this is 955 euros. So I still have actually 45 euros left um, to spend, but I couldn't really find anything that I needed to have. Actually, wait, maybe if I can use that 45 uh, euros, I would try to find a decant of maybe this one here. I happen to have it here on my desk. <laughs> um, a decant, uh, what I can get for 45 euros worth of Angel Share from Killian. This is such a delicious, boozy, kind of apple pie, delicious scent. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> it's very, very similar to Ombre Narguilé uh, as well. I can easily exchange um, this one for the Ombre Narguilé in a decant form, like I think I would actually prefer maybe the Ombre Narguilé, but in any case, the same similar scent profile for me anyways. Um, but yeah, Angel Share, love the bottle here. It is so cute, um, delicious, unisex, um, gourmand, spicy, vanilla, I think there's vanilla in here, kind of apple pie kind of vibe. So then I would come to uh, 1,000 1, euros total. So yeah, guys, those are the perfumes I would choose if I had to start all over again and spend 1,000 euros, uh, the cheapest, best prices I can find online. Uh, uh, these are the ones that I would spend the money on. Uh, I would love to hear your opinions about these scents down in the comments. Also, if you had to start all over again as well, and you had 1,000 euros to spend on niche perfumes, uh, please write it down in the comments. I would love to hear which choices you would make. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.